in West Virginia. Schwarzbar on the pedals, cleanly leads him off the line. Schwarzbar joined at the front by his title rival Saru to his right hand side, but no one can live with the pace of Lucas Schwarzbauer up this first climb. Alan Haverly slots into his left. Schwarzbar straight to the front. There's Haverly. Nino Schurter to the right hand side of your picture. Charlie Aldridge is of this front group as well. But look at these riders. They're all sprinting to the top it's an to be in a good position. They know as well the bridge. That's a bottleneck for them as well. Koretsky second place now for specialised racing. The man the moment can't stop winning at the minute. Victor Koretsky did the double in Leger. Can he get past Lucas Schwarzbauer here? For the first time in that decent, slippery conditions over here for the riders. Really, really. Tom Pitcock with the Red Bull helmet. Yes, yeah. yes. There, yes. there is Tom Pitcock on the 21 bike. On the 21 bike for the Ineos Grenadiers. You can see the big rut forming at the bottom of that one. Look at look look at uh, Victor Koretsky here. Pushing hard now, more gaps in between the riders. beats per minute. What has been the change in Viktor Koretsky, Bart? He's unstoppable at the moment, isn't he? Uh, he won uh, the double in uh, Leger. Tell us what you think, Bart, uh, the upside down number 13 for Koretsky. That's old school, isn't it? Yeah. Can't, be, it, can't be bad luck if it's upside down. More, most of the riders do it like that, uh, yeah. Schwarzbauer just battling a bit to stay on that back wheel off Koretsky ahead of Scherter, Saru. Look at Matthias Flückiger on the sixth place, how he's suffering Helm Valley here in that early in the race. Yeah, the riders are still close together. If one of these is pushing hard, they are still there. The gaps are opening, but they come close together again very shortly after that when it slows down. A group of four leading this short track race here in Snowshoe. Well, you've got to take your hat off to Jordan Saru. He knows he needs a bit of luck. But that's not stopping him from charging to the front of this race and trying to put Lucas Schwarzbauer, his title rival, under pressure. The chasing group is not that far off. Schwarzbauer takes a look over his shoulder. Oh, just getting a little kick up onto that bridge in the canyon. Yeah, in front of that bridge, actually, it's dangerous if they're entering it over high speed, and that's what they do. Here we go into this fast ascent. Look how choppy and loose it is. You want to go straight down the middle if you can. Scherter tucks in behind Koretsky. Yeah, different line for Nino Schurter. Also, Sebastian Finney is taking that outside line. More riders do it. Second place now for Jordan Saru. Look at Lucas Schwarzbauer. Digging deep, isn't he? Yeah, small gap to Nina Schurter now, who's in fourth place, but there's a little bit of a gap. There's Charlie Aldridge with Schurter. What were you saying? Your son for Cannondale Factory what Racing. You say your son and I? Yeah, the riders are suffering. And it means serious business now for Lucas Schwarzbauer. Can he do it again? On to the final lap, they go. Lucas Schwarzbauer, the series leader, just needs to finish his race. Yeah. But look at this attack from Charlie, Charlie Aldridge. Aldridge. And Victor Koretsky knows it's time. Charlie Aldridge for Cannondale Factory Racing from the UK attacks on the last oh, lap. These guys are sprinting all. Bart can hardly open his eyes. This is fantastic <laughs> racing here in Snowshoe, West Virginia. Charlie Aldridge. Aldridge to Leading. the front now. But it is this just only the beginning of this last lap. Schwarzbauer leading again. A little bit of time for these riders to stretch their legs. It is now Victor Koretsky. Koretsky attack. attacks. Look how close they all are as well. The awareness, the spatial awareness around them. Absolutely superb. But it's Koretsky who will lead him to the top of that climb. He likes to be in the first place when it comes down to that downhill, that slippery downhill after the bridge. It's the safest place to be. Aldridge, third on the bridge. This part. High speed. Close together, these riders still. Yeah, all of them absolutely perfect down that descent. Scally up into fourth place now. We've seen him come strong at the end of races this season already. Is he about to do it here? But Koretsky's it goes attacking slightly now. Slightly uphill from now on. This is the last big climb, really. But it's Victor, Victor Koretsky in the lead now. A small gap for him, not that much. Look at the gear Koretsky's turning up there. Big, powerful rider. Koretsky's pulled the pin here, Bart. Absolutely timed to perfection. 
Look at the gap, there's a visual there's of it. There's nothing in between these riders. Saru passed Schwarzbauer. Schwarzbauer just needs to finish to win the overall title. But he wants to finish in front of Saru for the bragging rights. But Hureski doesn't care about that. He's going for the win. On the big gear here on this flat section. Slightly down. Pushing hard. Koretsky, Victor Koretsky cannot stop winning in the second half of 2023. Specialized factory racing are going to take another win here. They're going to be the most successful manufacturer out there so far this season. Takes one look over his shoulder to Saru. Victor Koretsky takes victory yet again in Snowshoe, West Virginia, again in 2023. Saru, Schwarzbar, Descalu cross the line. Victor Koretsky. Well, Mr. Perfection keeps on clocking the wins. Yeah, another win. Victor Koretsky in the form of his life. Right at the end of this season, is on for a historic double-double. Jordan Saru, not wasting a drop. One overall points leader's jersey makes way for a overall points jersey. As Lucas Schwarzbauer comes out to collect another overall points leader's jersey. It's hard to remember where the other jersey is. That one pings open on him.